Another fairy tale comes to life this weekend at the Taft Theater. The story involves a princess and frog, and it's one you might think you know. Roderick Justice, producing artistic director with the Children's Theater of Cincinnati, joins us this morning to talk about that show and some other exciting things with the Children's Theater. Hey, buddy, how Good are you? Good morning. I'm great. Tech week, getting ready for the show. How are we looking? It's, it's looking great. Yeah. I'm excited to have this one uh, be delivered to our, our audiences for the first time. Yeah, and, and this one, for, for a lot of people, I know they probably see this, and maybe mm -hmm. they start to think Tiana and the Disney movie, but this Absolutely. is something different. And that's wonderful yeah. because uh, the, the, this is a classic fairy tale based on the Frog Prince story, and it's a brand new take on this classic musical. So you can compare and contrast to the stories you may have heard before. Yeah. So you can read or watch or listen and then come to see this story, this brand new uh, adaptation with brand new music that's going to delight you no matter what. Okay, so what's the thing? I feel like with every single Children's Theater of Cincinnati show, you walk away and there was a thing that just popped at you, whether it was a set piece or a costume or a thing. Is there sort of that special moment for you in this one as we look at some of that rehearsal oh, yeah. video right now? I th I think one thing you're going to um, really enjoy is the tap dancing. There's a whole sequence of tap dancing frogs that come out <laughs> and they got they get to tap dance on lily pads and there's water in them so they splash around. So it's really cool. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That, that's, that kind of rehearsal process for you guys. For those who don't know, what we're seeing right now in the video is happening at, at your offices, the Red Bank location, where they've got some great rehearsal space. But the shows, the main stage shows, take place at the Taft, at the Taft Theater. Taft, yes. And you've got a week to get in there and get all of that on its feet with water flying and everything else. How's it going so far? It's going great. We uh, have the cast coming in tonight. So we do have a week in the in the theater, but we only have three days with our cast Ooh. in the space. So, so it's a fast process, but uh, they're primed and ready to go. Now yeah, we're ready to see it as well. Can we can we skip ahead to some other exciting things going of on course, with the Children's yeah, Theater of sure, Cincinnati right absolutely. now? Absolutely. And this might not be for, you know, a year, maybe more or so down the line. Mm -hmm. The Children's Theater of Cincinnati is moving back to the Emory Theater. Yes. Uh, a place where, how long ago was the Children's Theater first there? Uh, we actually got our start as the Children's Theater of Cincinnati in the Emory space and uh, eventually moved from the Emory to the Taft. But um, it, it's a long history and a wonderful history that yeah. we're excited to, to have a little bit of a coming home. And for people who have been in the Emory any time over the last, gosh, five, ten years, whatever it is, you know, it's fallen into some disrepair and there's mm -hmm. some things that don't have to change. And we have some renderings of <laughs> some of the things that are going to magically come together once you get in that space. Talk to me a, a little bit about what, you, what we're seeing on the screen and what some of the big plans are. Sure. So uh, just like a, we're, we're the city of Blink. Yeah. And so we're going to be celebrating that. Um, the space, when you first look at the, the, the ground plan of the Emory, it's not a large space. It was built for a, a, to be a music hall, a, yeah. a, a music performance venue. And so um, we are going to be expanding up and down and out instead of into the wings. There's really not a lot of wing space, but we can do a lot of storytelling with projection mapping, oh. like we do with Blink, yeah. uh, on the walls of the theater, so you're immersed in the stories around you. And we'll be using lifts and LED technology, and um, it's going to be a truly unique storytelling experience that is nothing like anything else in our region. And not only will it technologically be amazing, it sounds like, but it'll offer you an opportunity. The Taft is a great place for the main stage shows. Of course, you know, brilliant. it's wonderful. But it'll give you a chance to maybe do two more shows and, and things like that. We'll be able to operate year round, yeah. uh, opposed to the 20 days that we're uh, able to be in the Taft. Yeah. So uh, our business and our, and our reach and our uh, our mission will be able to expand um, in ways that we will we can't imagine. Yeah, yet. it's so exciting. Um, but and you've got some things coming up, I know, with the Emory ahead. But let's let's get all the dates out for this show. And if people want to come see Princess and Frog, well, what do we need to know? We're going to be opening this week and you'll be able to catch us next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Awesome. And we'll have more information for you up at Local12.com, of course, as well. It's always great to see you. I'm, I'm, as you know, I'm so, so excited for the Children's Theater yes. of Cincinnati. What Thank an awesome time. Thank you so time. much. Thank you. It's